My name's Matt. How are you guys today? You guys can come closer. You guys can sit on the green carpet if you want. All right, guys. So the story we're going to read today is called The Story of the Easter Bunny. Has anyone ever read it before? No? Don't worry, I haven't either. So this is going to be an adventure for all of us. Are you guys ready to jump into the story? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, then let's jump in. On a snow-cold day in a snug little house, a round old couple were making Easter eggs. Have you guys ever made Easter eggs? No. Yeah. Yeah. Some yes and some no's. That's so cool. Yeah. The round old man blew the insides out, and the round old woman painted designs on some of the eggs. The rest they dyed in glass cups while their little rabbit watched. There were eggs the color of daffodils and of soft blue beans and of robin eggs and of violets. What color of eggs do you see? Do you see a blue egg? What about a purple egg? Yeah? On a day when the winter wind blew outside, the round old couple made baskets out of straw. They would wove and twist it and braided the straw together while their little rabbit watched. Who do you guys think the little rabbit is? Yeah, I think it's the Easter Bunny too. On an early spring day when the snow was melting and water trickled down the eaves, the round old couple made chocolate eggs. You guys like chocolate? I love chocolate. The round old woman melted the chocolate and the sugar and the butter on the stove. The round old man poured the chocolate into tiny molds and their little rabbit watched. On the day when the sky was blue and the church bells rang and the world seemed new, everyone in the village said, Happy Easter! Everyone say, Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Great job! The round old couple brought every child a straw basket filled with Easter eggs, as they did every year, and their little rabbit watch. A year went by and Easter came again. The straw baskets were on the table, the Easter eggs were in a big bowl, the chocolate eggs were carefully wrapped in foil, and the round old couple were fast asleep. But there was still work to be done. Does everyone see them fast asleep? Yeah? The little rabbit twitched his nose, then he hopped onto the table and put the eggs into the basket. It was magic. The little, the little rabbit scooped up the basket and hopped down the lane. He left one for every child in the village. He didn't think anyone saw it. The next year, the little rabbit colored the eggs and cooked the chocolate and wove the basket and delivered them on Easter morning. The little rabbit made more baskets every year. The round old couple helped him. The little rabbit hopped all over the countryside and the children knew the Easter bunny came. One year, the round old couple could not help the little rabbit anymore. They were so very, very old, and the rabbit knew he could not stay in their snug little house anymore. Too many children were discovering his secret. So, the little rabbit found the perfect place to make his baskets in a shadow-filled wood nearby. Only a rabbit could find the entrance. The rabbit set up one room for making chocolate eggs, one room for coloring eggs, and one room for weaving baskets. The little rabbit's friends came to help him. Now, every year on Easter morning, when the sky is blue and church bells ring, and the world seems new, the Easter Bunny delivers his baskets. Perhaps he's left one for you. Happy Easter, everyone! Great job! Wasn't that a great story? Yeah? A great story all about the Easter Bunny, right? But you want to know what something Elmo loves about Easter? It, Easter makes Elmo so excited and makes him want to do his favorite dance. Do you want to do the Elmo slide with Elmo? Yeah! yeah.